Hello, welcome to InfoBip, a global leader in omni-channel communication committed to helping businesses worldwide. A place where the utmost priority is to empower businesses to send reliable and scalable communication on any channel. As we grow, we are becoming the platform for platforms. And we help you not only send communication, but also reduce operational load, decrease engineering effort, and speed up time to market. And how do we do that? By listening to your struggles and developing innovative solutions such as our CPaaS X, the next stage in the evolution of the InfoBip CPaaS API stack. We've talked to some of the world's biggest platforms and learned a lot about the challenges they face in communication management due to the complexity of CPaaS and the platform's need to efficiently onboard many customers. Before we jump into CPaaS X, let's take a quick refresher on what CPaaS is all about. Some might think of CPaaS as equivalent to terms like SMS API, WhatsApp API, Email API, and other APIs that enable them to integrate communication channels into their apps and systems. But in fact, it's much more than that. The magic of CPaaS, or Communication Platform as a Service, is in the fact that it also handles the complexities of those channels. Taking SMS as an example, it will handle network logic, compliance, reporting, efficient traffic management, even in times of extreme load, such as Black Friday, and other complexities you don't even think of. And now we're taking it to a new level with CPaaS X. CPaaS X is not a new product, but a new set of APIs and an enhancement of existing ones that make the InfoBip CPaaS product stack even more scalable and modular for evolving customers' needs. Its ultimate goal is to reduce CPaaS complexity. CPaaS X is a set of APIs developed with and for the platforms. Platforms are like businesses that provide special solutions to other businesses. They're known as B2B providers. To make it easier to understand what this is all about, let's take an example of an imaginary platform called Reach. Reach is a customer engagement platform that helps businesses connect with their end users in a personalized way. They offer tools that allow businesses to create and send messages that are tailored to each individual end user. These messages can be delivered through different channels like SMS, chat apps, or email. By using Reach, businesses can effectively engage with their end users and build strong relationships. Let's walk into their HQ and meet Maya, Chief Technology Officer of Reach. Maya has an important goal. She wants to meet her customers' needs more effectively and make her team more efficient. Currently, her team has limited autonomy, which means they have to rely on a CPaaS provider for certain tasks. As Maya's platform grows, whenever a new customer comes on board, Maya's team has to actively engage with the CPaaS provider to create a new account, provision a new number specifically for that customer, and even register SMS campaigns with all relevant telecom providers. Maya realizes that this process can be time-consuming and can potentially cause delays with her own team as well as customer progress. She understands that to keep up with her customers' needs and increase efficiency, her team should have more control and independence in managing these tasks. Besides the operational workload, Maya's team faces additional challenges. Initially, customers may start using Reach with just one channel, like SMS. However, as they grow, they often want to expand and add more channels, such as RCS or WhatsApp. This requires extra engineering effort to integrate new sets of APIs for each additional channel. The complexity and workload of the engineering team may not be a concern for Reach's customers, as they primarily want to speed up their time to market and start sending campaigns as soon as possible. Maya comes across a company called InfoBip, which offers an advanced set of APIs called CPaaS X. After a meeting with InfoBip's representatives, Maya realizes that this technology was almost tailor-made for Reach. 
With just a single integration, Maya's team can now quickly add new customers and expand their channels without the need for additional integration. The magic happens behind the scenes. Our platform will ensure that the message on a new channel is displayed properly. This relieved the burden on Reach's engineering team and allowed them to focus on other tasks. Not only did Reach see benefit from this solution, but their new customers were surprised at how quickly they could start using the service. On the other hand, existing ones experienced newfound flexibility. Thanks to InfoBip's technology, Maya and her team were able to streamline their operations and provide a seamless experience for Reach's customers and their end users. How did the InfoBip team achieve successful outcomes here? For starters, instead of acquiring multiple accounts, Reach now has one single account with InfoBip and with CPaaS X, now they have the autonomy to create applications for different environments, such as testing environments and production environments, or use cases, such as e-commerce and marketing. It's not only applications Reach can create, engineers from Reach also have the autonomy to create entities which represent each of their customers. For each customer of theirs, Reach will create a new entity with one simple API call. Instead of reaching out to a CPaaS provider, in this case InfoBip, to create a new account for their new customer. Application and entity are building blocks that can be used together or independently. It simplifies the process and reduces the dependency on the CPaaS provider empowering Reach to serve its customers more effectively. Finally, Reach will do something we call resource association, which means they'll assign numbers or senders that were previously bought to the entity. Or, in simpler terms, they'll say to the InfoBit platform, hey, this number will be used by my customer ABC, remember, that's for the future. Through the examples we just shared, we've outlined five main pillars of CPaaS X that Maya and her engineering team need to be aware of to reach the full benefits of what CPaaS X has to offer. Let's go through them one more time. Pillar number one, numbers. A set of APIs that helps reach, see, and purchase available numbers, but also manage and, if needed, cancel existing ones. For the US market, it also enables brand and campaign registration. Pillar number two, Messages API. API that is resolving everlasting issue of connecting to multiple messaging providers at scale. With Message API, Reach can integrate to InfoBip once and introduce other channels almost instantly. Our backend logic will work it out for the message to be properly displayed on any channel depending on the channel specifics. Pillar number three, sending strategy. Sending strategy is a set of APIs that Reach can use to assign a pool of senders to each entity, application, or entity application pair, a pool that will be used in a smart way to ensure the desired message throughput, or even to opt for a sticky pool, a logic that makes sure that the end user receives a message from the sender they received a message from previously. Pillar number four, subscription. A webhook URL for entity with provided credentials to choose events they can subscribe to, such as flexibility to opt in and opt out for any type of messaging event, as well as option to define different URLs for different events. For example, delivery reports, clicked events, scene event, and so on. Pillar number five, reporting. While subscription makes it possible for Reach to receive timely event information, reporting is a set of APIs that enables Reach to pull reports and summaries from InfoBip's platform. With reporting, Reach can retrieve different types of data like all inbound messages received in the past 7 days, all delivery reports in the past 30 days, and similar information. Although Reach doesn't need to worry about the level of autonomy and backend logic anymore, Maya has concerns about her existing customers and migration to InfoBib's service. Is it possible? Will it cause service interruption? Will it require additional engineering effort to support? Another challenge InfoBib tackled with innovation. 
Reach and any other customer can migrate seamlessly with BYOC, bring your own connection. Our platform ensures that U.S. and Canada shortcode senders are migrated to a new SMS provider without any interruptions. Once Reach connects to the InfoBit platform, they can start sending all their traffic through our platform and we do the heavy lifting. We apply for the migration and then check with the mobile network operators once the number has been migrated. If it hasn't, the message will be sent over the old provider. Once the migration is completed, we will exclusively use InfoBip connections. So, is it for platforms only? Well, any business that benefits from CPaaS would benefit from the added flexibility and advanced capabilities that CPaaS X offers. For enterprise clients, the entity can be their branch office in a different city or country, or even departments such as marketing, legal, customer support, etc. They'll certainly benefit from having everything on one account with the capability to set up the sending strategy, subscriptions, reporting, and not having to worry about integrating different APIs for different channels. However, platform businesses stand to benefit the most in terms of simplified onboarding and the reduced overhead of managing multiple customers. Ready to speed up time to value for you and your customers, simplify onboarding, reduce operational load, and decrease engineering effort of your teams? Reach out to our team and discover how InfoBip and RC Pass X can propel the growth, expansion, and success of your business, all while streamlining operations and boosting efficiency.